All right, everybody, it's Brandon again. Today I'm just gonna be doing a quick video on how to upgrade the RAM on a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Uh, this is a 2022 model, but it should be the same for 2021 or 2023 or whatever you got. And the reason I'm making this is mainly showing you how to get the back cover off. Cause I did look at a video before I started it just so I didn't mess anything up even though it's a fairly easy thing to do. And none of them really uh, went over it very good. So I'm just gonna go over it and then I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the RAM on this thing. So uh, let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing. All right, so I got this thing turned upside down and I took the screws out with just a little screwdriver. It takes 10 of them. And then the thing you're gonna need to do is pry the back off and there's nothing special about it. Uh, but on every video I watched, they just took it off real quick, like it was no big deal. And when I tried to get it off, I felt like I was going to break the thing. So, um, I'm trying to do this one hand. But, all I did was I put it over like this, and then I started prying it off from the bottom of the vents. Right there, on each side. And it took a little, a little force, but then it eventually came out, and came off. And... So I'm do it one-handed here get that thing off here's what you got underneath now for upgrading the RAM the RAM is under this right here which you can just pop out the one I got came with two sticks of DDR5 4800 and this model can take uh, 32 gigs of RAM total and it came with 16 so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it I got 32 gigs here two sticks of uh, 32. Um, I've seen some websites that say this model of laptop can take a uh, faster memory than 4,800 megahertz. But um, I went straight off the Lenovo spec sheet and it said this is what it takes. So I just went with that. You guys can get whatever you want. If you want to get this kind I got, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But getting the old memory out, if you've never done it before, it's pretty easy. You just kind of flip these things out. And uh, it is easier if you have two hands and you're not holding a camera. Yeah. I'll do it after I put down the camera. But anyway, you just there's these two metal pins here. You just move them off to the side and then you can plop these out. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and then come back. All right. Pop those things out. Set them off to the side. Got my new memory right here. I'm going to go ahead and plop those in. Then we will come back again. I guess I should show you, if uh, you're someone who's never done this before, when you print these in, you kind of start it at an angle like this, and you just push it down, and it snaps in like that. And then that's all you got to do to put the uh, new RAM in. Then when you're putting this uh, cover back on, these metal things that you plopped it out of, they kind of have a groove in there. And you got to fit this into that groove. Sorry guys, I'm doing it one-handed. And you just push it down and it snaps back on. Now, if you're trying to do other upgrades, this comes with two M.2 hard drives and they're under these right here. So you would just unscrew that and that to take the cover off. And then same thing over here on this side. And you can upgrade those hard drives if you need to. Batteries right here if you need to replace that thing. And that's pretty much all you can upgrade on your own. I guess you could replace these fans if they went out. But yeah, that's the inside of that thing. I'm going to go ahead and put the back back on and screw it back together, and we'll see if it boots up. All right, so I got this back cover back on. Got all the uh, screws put in. Just make sure when you're uh, battening it down, you go through, and you kind of push in all the corners and make sure everything's snapped in good and uh, tight like it should be. We are going to go ahead and uh, turn it around, see if it starts up, see if I did it right. Go ahead and let that boot up. And uh, again, like I said, if um, you're wanting to get the same kind of memory, here's what it looks like again. You just look that up on the Amazons where I got it, or you can go ahead and um, I'll just put a link to it down in the description. And so it's uh, it'll be easy for you to get there. And here we have the uh, machine booting up, spinning. We'll see if it loads in the windows or not. Put in the pen. Okay, we are started up. Oh, I don't have my mouse plugged in, so I'll have to use this trackpad. 
we will right click on start go to our system and uh, as you can see we now have 32 gigs of RAM and so looks like it's all up and working so there you have it right there that is uh, a memory upgrade on the Lenovo what's this called again Len Lenovo Legion 5 yeah uh, pretty easy to do hard drives would be easy to upgrade also if you wanted to do that uh, the the only hard part really is prying the back off that thing but um once i just figured out you start back on the vents and give it a little force it goes very easy so anyway there it is hope uh hope you learned something from that and thanks for watching bye now